Welcome to the another session on filters in CFD. Today we'll see the CFD analysis of horizontally placed flat pulsating heat pipe for electronic cooling. So the heat pipe which is used for electronic cooling. So we're going to see the simulation of that. So the things which are uh, so this is related to pulsating heat pipe. So first thing is to prepare the geometry of horizontal place flat pulsating heat pipe. Uh, to prepare the mesh and apply the boundary condition as per the uh, requirement to observe the contours of liquid volume fraction and wall temperature so this is all the objective so uh, if you see the image uh, which is used uh, over here the simulation which we can see so from evaporator the liquid starts going towards the condenser section and you will see the heat has been taken from the evaporator section to the condenser section so this is typically can be used in case of the thermal management of uh, we can say CPU of a laptop. So especially if you are going with the arrangement which involves the flat pulsating heat pipe. So likewise the simulation can be done. Uh, we have done this up to uh, limited number of time steps. So that's why we are not able to see the entire simulation. So uh, if you want to see the entire things uh, we have to run the simulation for longer duration of time. So still in this also we can see uh, the vapor is been transformed uh, uh, into a liquid as soon as it comes towards the condenser section. So this is what the visualization can be done uh, from the number of time steps which has been performed. Uh, you can see the alternate liquid vapor slugs are moving trying to move towards the condenser section. So this is how uh, we can say the simulation is actually. Now this is was related to the contours of liquid volume fraction. Uh, similar to that we have the contours of uh, wall temperature. So we can see how the wall temperature is actually being varying uh, in this particular simulation. So wall temperature varies from uh, the evaporator and it, uh, you see the temperature increase towards the condenser section uh, over the period of uh, time. So we have very as, as I discussed earlier we have very limited time step we have covered earlier. So uh, with this we can visualize how the temperature variation will take place from evaporator to your the condenser section. Uh, still some of the portion which you observe in the condenser it is the blue it means a comparatively lower temperature. So slight variations can be observed if you carefully see the entire geometry uh, that is from the evaporator to the condenser section. So again the time steps requirements uh, are comparatively higher so with this we are just around maybe around uh, 12 or 15 seconds of the simulation which has been run over here so if it has been run maybe for 60 seconds uh, or so uh, it could have been better visualization in in terms of the contours of wall temperature 